Hey guys, it's Tim and this is Brustling Unlimited. So you've probably heard all the news by now that an altercation went down backstage after the scrums at All Out between the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, CM Punk, and Ace of Steel. Over the last day or so, we've been compiling all the different news and information, and here is everything known so far about this actual altercation. So really, on Sunday night, it all started with CM Punk and his comments during the scrum. Punk went off on Colt Cabana and all that stuff. He then talked about how the news of him getting Colt Cabana technically fired was put out by the EVPs and that you shouldn't always believe everybody you get your news from. And he talked about Hangman not wanting to take advice and this and that and just kept going and going and going. The story then goes that backstage, CM Punk was either in the trainer's room or the locker room. We don't know exactly. I've heard it both ways. And the elite, technically, I guess you could say, approached him. The story then goes that either CM Punk threw a swing, a punch at Matt Jackson, or that Matt Jackson was yelling at him and got in his face, and then Punk swung. But regardless, Punk threw the first, I guess you could say, punch. The story also goes... That a steal at one point threw a chair at Matt Jackson, hitting Matt Jackson in the eye, causing him to have a black eye and maybe even worse. There's also part of the story that at one point a steal was pulling the hair of Kenny Omega and even bit him. During all of this, Steele's wife was present in the locker room. She's got a broken foot, so she can't do anything, but she was there tending to Punk's dog, Larry. We were told that while all this went down, the scrum was still going on, and apparently a either security guard or police officer actually was seen running through the scrum to go help break this up in the back. Now, we don't know exactly who started all of this, whether it was the Young Bucks being the aggressors or if it did start with CM Punk throwing the first punch or anything. We have people saying things on both sides. Some are saying Punk started it all by throwing the punch, some say that the Bucks started it by being very aggressive towards Punk and so forth. But regardless, this has now become a legal issue, apparently. And that is why most people are not really talking much. That's why a lot of info is still being withheld. Because with, I guess you could say, with Ace Steel throwing a chair at Nick Jackson, that right there, apparently, reportedly, has turned this thing into a legal issue. We don't know if maybe Nick Jackson wants to press charges at a steal or anything, but in a fight for report yesterday, they were given a quote of a steal is lucky to not be in jail. So with that, there's a lot to still break down and figure out and everything. We've got dynamite tomorrow on Wednesday. And honestly, at this point, we don't even know who's going to be there. Are the tag team champions or the trios champions going to be there in the elite is the world champion even going to be there in CM Punk and the big note coming out of the pay-per-view was that MJF is back and nobody is talking about that. And I mean nobody as far as fans or people backstage. So with that, if we do hear anything further on the incident, the brawl, the melee, the attack that went down backstage after All Out, we'll have it for you right here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe right here on YouTube.